Alright guys, so we are back at it again with Isabel's main quest. This is her fourth and her final quest. The reason why I know that is if you go into the achievements under High Isle and under Companions, it actually tells you what quests uh, you have done and what needs to be completed. And we've completed all of them except for the final quest, therefore we are on Isabel's final quest. Guys, it took me a lot of grinding to get this done. Four days of straight grinding, all day of grinding and grinding and grinding Isabel just so that I could complete this. I was literally doing one quest per day. I know the videos came out one one uh, video per week, but it took me four days to complete this. It was absolutely insane, guys. I'm excited to jump into this, so before I do, please... If you appreciate the amount of effort it took for me to just complete these quests, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it does help this channel grow. So let's go ahead and talk to Isabel and see what her final quest is going to be like. Hello, Miss Veloa. I've received another letter from the Knight Commander. Is that right? I it yet. I wanted to wait until we were together. Uh, she's she's honestly really sweet. Like, I don't even know how to begin with that. She's super sweet. But anyways, uh, this should be interesting. Go ahead. All right. <coughs> the Knight Commander is asking for another meeting. She's in Gonfalon Bay on business at the Ancient Anchor Inn. Apparently, she wants to talk if... I have the time. It's kind of funny because we are in High Isle right now, in Gonfalon Bay. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny. We're already here. So is there another, is this another formal request? By the way, the Knight Commander is her mother. Actually, it seems quite informal. Maybe Commander Jorvel heard from Aurelia. Hmm. Remember, Aurelia and Marso had plans to investigate a conspiracy in Rivenspire. If there's been a development, we should head to Gonfalon as soon as we can. All right, yeah, no problems. I, I like how she says we should go to Gonvalon as if we're not already here. Um, all right, I'll meet you at the Ancient Anchor in in Gonvalon Bay. It will be Aww. good to catch up with Commander Jorvel. I've been thinking about her and Aurelia quite a bit lately. Just whatever you do, don't order any All Flags rum at the tavern. I've seen sailors use it for paint remover. Good to know. Really quick though, before I let her go, I want to show you exactly. So it's at 4,065, but at 4,000, when you uh, hop over to Allied, is when you unlock this quest. 4,000. I went 65 over, of course. But once you get to uh, 4,000 companion rapport out of 5,500, is when you unlock her fourth and final quest. Just to keep in mind, I just wanted to show you exactly where it's at and where it looks like on the bar, just in case. I don't know if it's an add on that tells me this or not. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to show you so that you guys know exactly where. But am I going to lose her as a companion? No, because it said I'll meet you over there. I was scared I was going to lose her. By the way, I'm on my main character. Uh, just so you guys uh, know, I've been grinding this because I want this done on my main character, of course. It's just a different build. Uh, I, I do I have a bunch of different builds on this character. It's insane. I play with this character the most. Okay, it's a buff. Let's go up above. Is she it? Is she actually gonna be here, the Night Commander? Oh, it's still more up high. Uh, yeah, there she is. That's interesting. What are you doing here? Thank you for coming. I wanted to hear that. I've been in regular correspondence with Aurelia since your last adventure. Unfortunately, her letters have stopped, and I'm worried. Wait, what have you been discussing? She's been keeping me abreast of her investigation. The princess detective I've taken to calling her. Aurelia still believes she can retrieve the money stolen from Isabel's family. She feels quite guilty about it. I've never heard that word, abreast. I, I, I'm assuming that means close? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means. But I love her outfit. But anyways, uh, how has the investigation gone? Apparently quite well. Aurelia's last message was all smiles. It's on the table. There. Please, take it with you. She and Marceau would visit soon, she said. Back home to give Isabel the good news. 
Will you return to Rivenspire? See how she's doing? Yeah, no, of course. I'll speak to Isabel about it for sure. Thank you. And if I may, I also need to thank you for a more personal matter. My relationship with my daughter has gotten better, significantly better, as a result of her time spent with you. I Aww. hope you find her safe. Good luck, Traveler. Aw, and you? And to you? Oh, it's and to you. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, let's see. Aurelia's letter. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to read this, guys. Bear with me, I'm a horrible reader, as you guys may have already figured out on your own. I'm not a very good reader, so you bear with me, guys. If, if anything, you guys could just skip this or read it on your own. Whatever, but let's go ahead and read this. Mother, I'm writing to you from the pictures, picture town of Fells Run. We are so close to finding the people behind this criminal group. I feel certain that if we can locate... Uh, one more person to talk to will discover where the Veloa mercantile uh, gold vet went. Uh, then I can finally reach out to Isabel. I've been so ashamed. Thank you for your kind words. But it's true. This is all my fault. But soon enough, Marceau and I will stop at the castle. Then there will be cheers and hugs aplenty. With love, your Aurelia. P.S. I shared your letter with Marceau and he lo he laughed and laughed. He agrees with me. You should let this side of you show through more often. You, uh, you're actually very funny. Okay, good. Isabel. Oh, look at this. She sounds so sure of herself. Investigating crime and Fell's run. And she's so friendly with her mother. I told myself that I wouldn't rush off to rescue her again. She clearly didn't want my help. Do you want to go to Rivenspire then? Mm, you know me all too well, my friend. Some of this hurts to read. Why didn't Aurelia tell me she blamed herself? And enough that she feared speaking with me. That girl, I swear to Stendar. I mean, at least Aurelia and her mother are getting along better. So... Maybe I should rephrase that. She's not really her daughter, like blood daughter, but they're like, it's kind of like almost like an inherent adopted daughter almost. She kind of got raised by her, you know, so it's, that's kind of where I was going along with her, with that. At least that's what I gather. I could be incorrect or maybe I understood the story wrong. Uh, if I'm wrong, definitely let me know down in the comment section, but that's what I gather out of this. But anyways, at least Aurelia and her mother are getting along better. Yes. <clears throat> Finally a good influence on her, and she might be missing? <sighs> Let's head to Fell's Run. We're not going to learn anything standing here smelling the rum fumes. Agreed. Let's head to Rivenspire then. Rivenspire? Here we come. I have to go all the way back downstairs <laughs> and to the waste ride just to be able to go to Rivenspire. But it's okay. High Isle is such a cool expansion, man. I love this entire map i don't really i haven't really gathered any of the story because uh other than the companion stuff but um all i know where am i supposed to go exactly in river spire oh, okay right there so let's go here yeah so high isle is just a beautiful beautiful it's probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing locations uh up there with like varden oh not varden uh is it Varden? One of the elf plays. My coins in my purse. She doesn't trust these people. The is always the biggest building in these small towns. Maybe we should start there. Perhaps we shall. I just confirmed it, dear child. He's there. I know it. All right. We have to organize. By the divines, is he? I'm so glad to see you. So. I'm actually a little relaxed now. Maybe not because of her tone, but because she is safe. So that's good. Aurelia. I'm so grateful you've come. Even if I was a bit of a beef with the last time you saw me. Very true. I'm worried sick. Captain Marceau has been taken captive. Oh, snap. The Red Guard is gone. Um, are you alright? Your mother was worried when you, uh, when your letter stopped arriving. I'm fine. I'm fine. Captain Marceau and I were following up on that criminal conspiracy we uncovered in North Point. 
You remember? Yep. Kiv Linder stole Isabel's signet ring and managed to cause her family some trouble. Uh, I remember. Did you discover what happened? Yes. Kiv owed money to someone named Vetitia Marcotte. She's part of a minor noble family here in Rivenspire. Apparently, they were part of King Ranser's traitorous army during that terrible civil war. What happened to Captain Marso? Marso went to meet an informant to gather one final piece of evidence, and some brigands working for Vetitia snapped him up. That witch sent me a letter demanding I leave Rivenspire and abandon the investigation, or Marso would die. Do you know where uh, he's being held? My friend here is a talented mage. He used a seeking spell to find a, um, keepsake Marceau has with him. He's being held in Obsidian Scar, that horrible dungeon to the west. I was just about to organize a search party. Please, will you help him? Of course. We'll help, uh, we'll find him, Aurelia. Captain Marceau and I have grown very close while investigating here in Rivenspire. Interesting. Obsidian Scar is a terrible place. But I know if anyone can find him, it's you two. Obsidian Scar, I'm pretty sure I did a uh, public dungeon uh, story on that. But anyways, uh, is there anything else you can tell me? Of course. Ask me anything. I'll help however I can. Well, first things first, can you remind me where Obsidian Scar is? Just west of Lorcata Ruins. The that helps. The is home to a group of orcs called the Oathbound. From the description of his attackers, it sounds like Vatitia is paying them to hold Marso for the moment. Why hold him at Obsidian Scar, though? I'm not sure, but I believe her family has some kind of political aspiration. Maybe she's reluctant to kill him outright? My hope is that means Marso is safe. Right up until she has no use for him anymore. Uh, I mean, you got a point there, but why did uh, this Marcot woman kidnap Captain Marso? We did, well, too good a job. We set out to discover what happened to the money stolen from Isabel's family. Marceau and I found a number of leads, which took us practically to the Marcotte family front door. Uh, too good a job? Well, um, neither of us have done this before, so we weren't as subtle about our investigation as we probably should have been. <laughs> That's the problem. It's been hard at all for Vatitia to learn who was asking about her family. Yeah, that's definitely the problem for sure. I can see that being the reason <laughs> why you guys were targeted. Uh, this isn't the first time I've had some uh, had to save someone from from obsid from bleh, from obsidian scar getting tongue twisted. I apologize. Your knowledge of the strange and dangerous locales of Tamriel is truly breathtaking. Thank you, thank I you. Know why Isabel likes spending time with you? What happened the last time you were there? Uh, I mean, I helped a woman named Lakish, yeah, whatever, swear vengeance on the murderers, on the murderers that killed her husband. Now, if I didn't do a dungeon, uh, public dungeon story on that, I apologize, but I have done it on this character. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did it, though. I'm actually very confident I did. Uh, I helped a woman named, yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Sounds like that rescue attempt didn't go so well. Well, at least you know the lay of the land. Hopefully that will help you find Marceau. It probably will. Thank you. I like that. I like that they added... Go find your captain, Aurelia. Just stay here. Stay safe. I'm so glad you came. I feel better already just knowing you're going after Marceau. <laughs> I love the... This, this is a good story. I like it. It's not super exciting in the action department. But the storytelling is fantastic in this one. I, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Maybe I'm biased because I like Isabel so much. Um, that might be it, to be honest. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are enjoying the story uh, so far. Where is Obsidian Scar? Is this Obsidian Scar? It is Obsidian Scar. Actually, we don't even have to take a way shrine. There is no other way shrine closer. Maybe this one, but I'm pretty sure I could just run there. Also, I'm pretty... I know I've said this a million times already. I'm pretty confident I did a story locale for this public dungeon. Also, I think it's up here? Maybe? Question mark? Because there's a little camp of bandits right outside. Yeah, okay, yeah, I remember this place quite well. This must be the place. Let's 
get in there. If they've hurt Marso, I swear to Stendar. They... I'm sure they didn't. We'll see. Once we get inside, I'll know. Yeah, because there was an orcish woman right here when we first came. I remember. Yeah, we did. Okay. Anyways, enough yapping about an other, uh, about another story. Let's go ahead and continue Isabel's. Ah! I love that Isabel could just take care of the rep. Crap, dude, I'm getting, I'm getting hit everywhere. Save me! Take that! That was easy enough. Oh, hello. Good job, Isabel. You are. Be proud of that. I am proud of it. Isabel is pretty nice in the DPS department. She's pretty decent. She's pretty good, actually, in tanking too. So I hear. But I think I like her as a DPS. If I'm being completely honest, I should have went straight, but I have problems going straight. That that sounds weird. But anyways, you know what I mean. Hey, look. Yeah, this is where we left her. She fought her old clan leader down there. She's still there. That's awesome. Wait, hold on. Where am I going? Is it down there? <gasps> no, I see the. I see it. Oh, we're gonna have to fight these guys. Captain Marshall, we're here. I know we're here, Isabel. You got this, right? Yes. Yes, she does. Don't worry. We'll take care of this. You stay still, Mr. Mr. Well, don't go anywhere, Mr. Marceau. Let me fix that. It bothers me when it's not the right direction. I definitely didn't need to do that, but okay. Uh, you are a sight for sore eyes. I was worried Aurelia might try to save me on her own. I actually tried to unlock the door and not talk to him, but okay. Wait, where's all the doors on the side? That's why I didn't open it. Get out of here. Let's get you out of here, Captain. Aurelia is worried sick. It's always weird when they just teleport out the door. So we just you both. I thought I was going to end up in an ogre's belly. So we're just leaving then. Okay. I guess we're just leaving. <gasps> you saw nothing. Hi, nice to see you again. Uh left. Wait, left. I think I went left. I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm being completely honest here. Okay, yeah. And then this way. Uh-oh, they all respawned. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fighting. Captain Marceau, it would be nice if you helped. And done. Well, I guess I aggroed more people. Whoa, that was a weird little lag there. Luckily, Isabel can handle. I'll meet you outside. Dude, I'm in front of you. What do you mean, meet me outside? Cash me outside. How about that? Okay. Captain Marso, I'm come. Wait, where the hell is he? Sent by Lucky oh. Himself. Thank you, my friends. <laughs> For some reason, figured out where you were, Captain. She deserves the credit. Hello. I can't thank you enough. I spent most of my time in that cell, worried Aurelia would raise a search party and come storming through the front door. Well, we are the search party, so it wasn't too far off, I guess. Are you all right, Captain? <sighs> Just getting out into the fresh air is an improvement. That place was a nightmare. Brigands, Daedra, rats. I wasn't sure if I'd end up with a knife in my gut or eaten by Ogrim. 
You should know, Aurelia is the one who figured out where you've been taken. Ah, uh, I tell you what, my friend. That woman is like the sea. She'd come roaring in and smash aside those in her path. <laughs> Here, I can get back to the Fells run on my own. You two go ahead and let Aurelia know I'm safe. Right. We'll see you back in town then. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Come on, let's go, guys. We got business to take care of. Are we going back to town? Yes, we are. So we're running there. Because... It's really not that far. Plus, there's no way shrines or anything. So, yeah, see, we're already... We're already over halfway there. Or about halfway, but anyways. Whoa. Those things are always cool. I don't know why. Hey, look, the way shrine. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Can you guys tell I like Imperials? Over here <gasps> quickly. They have Aurelia. What? Oh, it's you. Please, you've got to help Miss Aurelia. She was snatched by a nasty looking brigand. One of the children ran up to tell me. If you hurry, they can't be too far. Apparently, she was giving them quite a hard time. If you're a mage, why don't you come help too? Who took her? Which way did they go? The child said Aurelia called the brigand Leticia. Isn't she the one that kidnapped Marcel? She went north, toward the old alien ruin northeast of town. I bet that Leticia took her there. No worries. We'll find her. Don't worry. I just said that twice. I'm going to bounce this Leticia across the turf when we find her. You and I both, my friend. You and I both. Where is she? Literally the opposite direction. I hate this place. I'm actually going to take the way shrine and go here and then... Because otherwise I'm going to have to go all the way around the mountain regardless. So I'm just going to take the way shrine. Or maybe there's an entrance way that I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure. Sure, why not? I'm doing it this way and you can't stop me. Mainly because you guys are watching this after I've already done it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, that was scary. Quietly, quietly, you guys saw nothing. I should have probably healed a little, but anyways, find Aurelia. Hey, look, there she is. You're, uh, you've already been found. She's like, my friends will find you. I'm like, I know, I've found you already. Why is she not fighting? One less villain to trouble the world. Let's help Aurelia. Stendar was with us in that fight. More like Stendar was with you, because apparently I got a big lag spike. And I did she was half health when I freaking killed when she died. Hold still. Thanks, Stendar, you're alright. Oh, Aurelia. <gasps> Marso! Oh, Izzy, thank you. I no, knew you would that. find him. Swing to the I am truly glad that both of you are safe. But it's dangerous out here. Move your butts. She's right. Marceau, let's go home. Back to High Isle. Oh, absolutely, sweetheart. <laughs> let's go home. Izzy, we'll stay at the Ancient Anchor. You and your friend should come see us when you're back in Gonfalon Bay. This entire storyline was essentially an action-packed rescue love story. What? I... What just happened? <laughs> I think Aurelia and Marceau are very much in love. I think so too, by the way. Yes, my friend. I... I caught that. Oh, she's happy for her. What a day. You know what? I joke, but I am glad they're going home. Marceau is a good man. And I imagine they'll want to talk to the Knight Commander. Yeah, I think so too. Do you want to head home as well then? I do. Let's go see those crazy kids in Gonfalon Bay. Our friendship has withstood some rocky seas the last few days, but it will make me happy to see her finally at ease. I agree. Let's go home then. Or you go home. You know what I mean. Follow me. We're going to your place. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. No, I can't go that way. Oh, actually, I you know what? Let's just do this. Whoops, wrong one. I always do that. I always click on the away shrine to the left of Gonfalon Bay for some reason. 
Oh, this entire... Her entire story was just a love story. It's actually really good. I don't know which one I like better thus far. Hers? Or Bastion's, because I really enjoyed Bastion's too. I, I, I kind of want to say hers. I kind of want to say hers. Wait, where the hell am I going? Oh yeah, this it's the end. I guess I could have went through that door. Whatevs. Come on. We're here. Is she going to be on the top floor again? I'm willing to bet she is. I have no idea what's going on right now. There goes that singing bard that's really loud. Isabel is here. I'm so <gasps> glad you came. Indeed I am. It will be a welcome break from mother lecturing me. <laughs> That's funny. Aurelia. My friend. Uh, may I count you as my friend? Of You're course. You're to Isabel, and she's very dear to me, so I... <clears throat> uh, I'm very glad you both could make it. Is there... Is there an announcement or something coming? We're glad to be here. Uh, what did you want to talk about? Marceau and I have been talking with Mother. We also paid a visit to Lord and Lady Belois. Don't give me that look over their shoulder, Izzy. Yes, I've been talking to your parents. Aww. It's all settled. What's settled? I owned up to my folly with the signet ring. Ah. Izzy's parents were very kind, especially after we explained all we did to resolve things. We also wanted their permission. Marceau insisted if I was to sail with him, they had to know. Wait. Uh, permission. Marcel insisted if we sail with him, they had to know. Okay, so you're sailing with Captain Marcel? I will. Our own little adventures. Perhaps more mysteries to investigate. In any case, none of this would have been possible without you and Isabel. Marcel and I are so happy. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Oh. My heart is so warm right now. Congratula congratulations, Aurelia. Mother says Isabel has been a good influence. <laughs> yes, there's something to that. Isabel. Stendar's got to be smiling on us. My family's coin and reputation are safe. Aurelia and Marceau are in love. Drake, I think even the Night Commander's mood has thought of it. Uh, whoa. What about you, Isabel? I'm tired, but happy. My life has changed so quickly it made my head spin. And the part that twisted me up the most was my changing feelings. <laughs> and my changing friendship. You both are different people now. I'm not the little girl who gave her friend a ring. And she's not some entitled princess. I think she truly cares for Marceau. Me too. You can see it in every word, every gesture. The vines help me. <laughs> I've read too many romance novels. I guess, I guess when she initially, I, I didn't think about this uh, initially, but very early on, I believe in her first or second quest, she t brought up romance no novels and how, like, they were important to her. I didn't realize that was going to be foreshadowing for the entire quest line, you know? Pretty interesting. I really love the way this entire story came together. Man, I really like this story. Do you still want uh, to adventure with me then? Are you pulling my leg? Look at all we've done together. We dominated the Sapphire Tournament and freed my childhood crush from a stupid promise. <laughs> we recovered a lost signet ring that could have cost my family dearly. Really? And I met your parents. You met the Lord and Lady Valois. We unlocked Aurelia's passion for investigation, brought her together with her true love, and defeated a rebel madwoman. Why in Stendar's name would I stop adventuring with you? Think what could happen next. I'm glad our journey will continue, Isabel. Traveling with you has made me a better knight. A better person. You are one of my very best friends. My life changed when we won the Sapphire Tourney together. And now, I can't wait to see what awaits us next. Oh my god, we finally got her as a... As a... House guest. I want, <laughs> like I said, she's furniture. That's funny. But anyways, Isabel Velawal is ex uh, equally happy hunting Daedra in a dark, in a dank cave and kicking back in front of a roaming fire, a roaring fire, an upbeat addition to any home. After adding Isabel to your home, you can set 
her on a path, plus you and your visitors can speak with her. Obtained by completing the quest, The Princess Detective. Oh my god, dude. This is so awesome. Aurelia, I hope you know we're here for you if you need us again. Absolutely. But I hope our days of coming to your rescue are at an end. <laughs> Me too. Same to you, Dame Belois. You two are traveling all over, so you have no excuse not to meet up with us from time to time. Deal. Look after Marceau, all right? And spend our keep you safe, Aurelia Jorvel. Ah. Uh, so good. Uh, actually, let me go... Let's go to my house. And we'll actually set her down. I want to see... Similar to what we did with Bastion and Miri. I want to see what she looks like because they typically have a different set of clothing. Um, and I want to see what she says once I put her down at my house. Okay, so first things first, uh, browse, uh, house guest. Oh, dude, I got a whole bunch of them. Isabel. It's so relaxing here. Quite the change of pace from my days as a squire. <laughs> Well, I guess let's listen to everything. I couldn't help myself. I tidied up a bit. Look, you can take the knight out of the castle, but not the castle out of the knight. I mean, you're basically moving into another castle, so there's that. Have you seen my copy of, um, The Maiden's Tight Hold? <laughs> I haven't had a chance to finish it yet, and I just got to the best part. <laughs> oh my god, dude. She, she's not into just romance. She's into those exotic romance novels. All right, this is my final list. No more deliberation. Candied walnuts, one. Sweet rolls, two. Hmm. Banana bread, three. Saltwater taffy from back home, four. And... Oh. Moon sugar candies, five. That's it. Done. So, she... A good way to get rapport from her, I think you get like five rapport from it, um, is to actually craft any sweet food. So, I, that what she said are examples of things that if you craft will get you some rapport for her. Next time we go back to my parents' house, I'll have to show you my little shrine to Stendar. It's so cute. My father helped me carve this little war horn out of driftwood, and my mom and I painted it silver to look just like the real thing. Cool. I'm making a list of places I want to visit now that I'm a knight errant out in the world. Where would you like to go? I've got Somerset for sure. I've heard incredible things about those beaches. And maybe Elden Root? I'll keep thinking about it. Somerset is the... Not Vardenfell. I said Vardenfell. Vardenfell is the Dark Elf uh, area. But Somerset is the second... It, uh, I don't know. I think it's like Ty. High Isle is just as beautiful, in my opinion, as Somerset. What do you guys think down below? I'm thinking of starting up a letter correspondence with Knight Commander Jorvel, my mentor back on High Isle. I bet she'd like that. She seems so lonely these days. I just spoke to my mother the other day. She was wearing this beautiful hat from Wayrest. Apparently, they're all the rage right now. Nice to look at, but I could never pull off something like that. Not very practical in a pitched battle. She has a ton of lines. Do you think I'd be any good as an author? I suppose I've seen enough interesting things to fill a book or two now. We should You're come welcome. with a nom de plume. Hmm. What's a nom de plume? Stendar, preserve me. You have to hear this. I was talking to my father the other day, and he said... What do clams do on their birthday? And that man looked me right in the face and said, They celebrate. <sighs> I almost died. That's <laughs> so cringe. Okay, that's good for now. Let's go ahead and find a place for her. Let's, uh... Let's put her... I want to put her up here somewhere. Because Bastion and Miri are both down there. I think I'm going to put her next to Bastion, actually. I kind of like... Oh! Let's make it look... Oh, no. I have... Uh, that sucks. Okay, so... I'm going to put her away. I have a companion. I have two companions here. Or, uh, people. So let's click him, put away, click him, and put away, mainly because we are going to end up putting down 
our little favorite little Khajiit. Once we unlock her, which we have one more quest to do, and I'll probably have that video up in a few days. Let's go ahead and put her there. And then, of course, the Khajiit's probably going to go right here. I keep calling her Khajiit, but uh, uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Ember. That's basically going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video or this series, do not forget to drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.